Hey guys, what's up, Aru? And I thought I'd make this video to jog some mind cogs for you guys and probably coax you into believing another one of my theories. So in this video, we'll be talking about the relation between Yae Miko and the Kitsune Saigu and why I think they're basically the same person. I'll be sure to keep them cohesive as possible and add timestamps as always in the description and the comment sections below. Hope you enjoy! Starting off, let me hook you into watching the video with a photo of Yai Miko in her fox form. Pretty cute, right? Next, did you know that the numerous fox statues littered all over Inazuma, or at least Narukami Island, were actually real foxes? And not just the typical red fox that you see now, but the so-called sky and earth kitsune. And did you know also that the sacred sakura tree is a manifestation of the kitsune saigu after she was consumed by the Dark Will hundreds of years ago. And lastly, to seal it all up, did you notice that Lady Eye's dialogue is slowly hinting at an uncanny behavior similar to that of Lady Saigu? I'll elaborate on each one of those in order, so keep watching. First and foremost, Lady Yai, as we can now confirm, belongs to the mystical race of yokai known as Kitsunes. As if the multiple races of Mondstadt and Liyue wasn't enough, we now have Inazuma's racial shenanigans. Kitsunes in Japanese mythology are intelligent foxes that possess paranormal abilities that increase as they get older and wiser. And according to the folklore, they can shapeshift into human form, usually portrayed as tricksters or mysterious guardians. The number of tales that Kitsunes have represent the knowledge and in turn power they possess. The more knowledge they possess, the more tales they can flaunt and the more power that they have. We can also confirm that Lady Yai has been in service under the Shogun A in the late or after the death of the previous Shogun Makoto. Makoto or Makoto. We can say this is because the tales of a kitsune does not reflect their age in any way. In some point in time, the saigu and yai would have interacted with each other as the kitsunes and the saigu herself were of the same species. And for being the same species, she learned from either Lady Saigu or the kitsunes the ability to place her consciousness inside of objects and to appear at a moment's notice even at long distances. Specifically yai because she was quite close to the shogun in her younger days. But as yai confirmed to us, she wasn't completely completely knowledgeable when Makoto was still alive, but she was present in the events. This photo of Yai in her fox form, held in the hands of Shogun Makoto, proves that she is either very young or that this photo was just A. But we know that the Shogun A wears a black kimono, in contrast to Makoto's which is white in comparison. Basically in this first bit, Yai already knew or was acquainted to the Shogun Makoto and more importantly Lady Saigu. And hundreds of years after the Saigu's death, she became the person in charge of the Narukami Shrine, which would entail that she got a few of Lady Saigu's philosophies and ideals at an early age. On to the second reason, if the first one didn't convince you enough, Yai Miko is not like the normal foxes you see in Narukami Island. She is of the Yokai Kitsune race. And specifically, if I may say, a sky kitsune. Right after the kitsune saigu was consumed by the abyss, the numerous sky and earth kitsune turned themselves into stone to wait for her return. But there was one kitsune, be it sky or earth, didn't turn into stone like the rest of them, which was Lady Eye. Even if she was still a young kitsune, be it earth or sky, she still stands as the one kitsune race we can see and interact with. And the fact that she didn't turn to stone and was familiar with both Shogun Makoto and the Saigu as well as A leaves some very interesting questions. The Sky Kitsune are still unknown to us since the only interaction we have so far with them is through the Sakura Cleansing where they hold the knowledge needed to perform certain rituals and hold trinkets and items of knowledge and therefore power. The Earth Kitsune, however, can be interacted with in the form of the memento lens that was given to us and seems to hint that depending on the Earth Kitsune in questions, they can choose to store a certain memory that is worth remembering, turning blue in the process. This is proven by the Earth and Sky Kitsunes within the Sakura Cleansing Quest, where the Sky Kitsune held the knowledge needed to perform the ritual and the Earth Kitsunes retained their memories after the Saigu was lost, harboring memories of Kazari and Kanagara regarding how to complete the ritual, as well as nuggets of memory throughout Inazuma here and there. In Yai's case, the multiple Sky Kitsunes could have resonated with her through the memories and knowledge they carried. I mean, Yai couldn't have just stayed in the Grand Narukami Shrine for the rest of her life, right? 
she must have been to at least some of the earth and sky kitsunes all around Narokami Island, as well as the ice possibility of placing or resonating with the consciousness of the numerous sky and earth kitsunes in Narokami Island, quite similar to what she did with the omomori that she gave us containing her present consciousness. And the ice case for not turning to stone could mean that the Lady Saigu had something for her in her later years, or that she simply told Yai not to turn into stone in the hopes of helping carry over her legacy as the Kitsune Goddess, particularly when she said her farewells to the Shogun before she went to face the Dark Will. Next is the third reason why you should believe this theory. The sacred Sakura located at the Grand Narukami Shrine was the result of the Kitsune Saigu sacrifice to defeat the Dark Will. But the one request that the Kitsune Saigu had was for her memory to be left behind for the people of Inazuma. And thus bits of filth would scatter around Narukami Island, so would pieces of her memory be scattered. And from the multiple branches of scattered filth, there lies the root of all filth. And in hindsight, the root of Lady Saigu's memories. One of the character dialogues with Raiden after unlocking Friendship 3 at least tells us Her body may have perished, but she became the sacred Sakura. This too is a form of eternity. She also backs her philosophy about memory. I'm fearful because of what I witnessed 500 years ago. Her demise and that thing. But if... If it were you... Everyone would be safe. You would have saved the world. Huh. Just like I cherish the memories of everything in Inazuma. If you remember me, I'll live forever. The Shogun already knows this and remembers the Kitsune Saigu from first-hand experience and would debunk this reason because Yai wasn't present in said events. However, Kujo Sara, the right-hand Tengu officer of the Raiden Shogun, also had something to say about the sacred Sakura. Whenever something is bothering me inside, I stand beneath the sacred Sakura, close my eyes and try to calm my mind. When I open my eyes again, the falling blossoms will guide my path. For someone like Sara to interact with the sacred Sakura in such a way, how much more for a chief priestess and familiar of the Shogun? Yai Miko interacts with the sacred Sakura on a daily basis, on top of managing her clientele and the numerous pilgrims and visitors around the shrine. And as Kitsunes go, more knowledge means more power. So the reason for Yai being chosen as the chief priestess, even though she is of Kitsune blood, even though her kin turned to stone, and she herself didn't turn to stone, leaves a lot to be desired. Particularly the one Kitsune statue at the base of the sacred Sakura tree. And that leads us to the final point of this whole video, in case you still couldn't believe my theory. Lady Yai's humor and the way she speaks and interacts with others is very reminiscent to that of Lady Saigu's. The artifact set Shimenawa's reminiscence tells us about Lady Saigu's weird and unsettling nature. All except for the feather, speak of the Lady Saigu's behavior and mysteriousness. The vague yet elegant words she uses to present her ideals to her colleagues and acquaintances. Now, if we go back to the statue and the ability of Kitsunes to store their consciousness within objects, or maybe even resonate with some of the statues similar to what we do with the memento lens, and given the fact that Lady Yai is the chief of the shrine and the final nail on this coffin, being the most powerful of the Kitsune blood and most knowledgeable, it's not outlandish to think or even say that she can resonate with the one Sky Kitsune at the Narukami Shrine. That's just one statue. Although it's a tree, it's still a statue. And it's a Kitsune. And that Sky Kitsune to me, or maybe even you, isn't just some simple Sky Kitsune statue. Now that I've stated the four bits I needed, I hope that you guys are still watching. We can piece them together before our fight with A inside her little plane of euthemia. While training, she told us that she still knows how Raiden fights. Unless, of course, she got a bit rusty, implying that she was already present even before the passing of Lady Saigu. And maybe she could retain some of the memory that the Kitsune Saigu knew and saw in first-hand combat before the Saigu passed away. 
She also mentions that she has a fox form, implying that she's one of the Kitsune race. Either Sky or Earth Kitsune, she has ties with the Saigu and the ability to store memory and consciousness and possibly resonate with certain objects and more importantly, other Kitsune. Raiden's power to put her consciousness inside of innate objects was taught to her by Lady Yai. But to the chief priestess, she can do more than just place her consciousness in one object. The fact that she knows so much seems that she uses that ability to get word around Narukami Island. And maybe not just Narukami Island alone. And the statue at the base of the shrine means that she can resonate with what is now the result of Lady Saigu and the Dark Will's agreement. Which is, drum roll, no just kidding, the Kitsune Saigu's memories. So in conclusion, whether or not Lady Yai voluntarily didn't turn herself into a statue allows her ability as a Kitsune, being the closest possible person in terms of blood and innate ability, she's the perfect candidate to keep the memories of the Kitsune Saigu. Which is why the current chief priestess, Lady Yai Miko, is basically the Kitsune Saigu herself. Not in form and spirit, but through the memory that she idealized and made into the legacy that she left behind. So there you have it, the four reasons why Lady Yai is actually the Kitsune Saigu. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you understood another one of my rambling videos. Although we will eventually know what actually happens and what Yai actually knows in the upcoming patches. But hopefully in this video, I've cleared up some confusion or questions around Yai Miko or maybe I might have filled in some Yai Miko info for you guys to hype over and Lady Saigo as well. I absolutely can't wait till her banner comes up and I'll be sure to pull for her whenever she does. I'll see you guys later. Bye!